You don't need God to feel guilt. You don't need God to feel guilt. Well, I don't know. I, I, I think in order to exist and feel anything, God must exist because none of us would be here if God didn't exist. So Yes, but guilt isn't inherently something that, like, it's a chemical reaction in your brain. That can be explained scientifically. Well, but he, see, here's the problem. And this reminds me of something that came up with Christopher Hitchens in one of our debates. Someone from the audience, like you, asked Christopher Hitchens, a materialist, what is love? It's and Hitchens question. finally said, love is a chemical. And I said, say that to your wife. You know, honey, I got the chemical today. Tomorrow I might not have it. <laughs> right? If love is just a chemical, then we don't have any moral culpability. We don't have any moral responsibility. I either have the chemical or I don't. Are chemicals involved when you feel guilt? Oh, sure. Just like any thought you have, chemicals are involved. But the thought itself isn't purely just chemicals. The thought that you're having right now when you ask a question is not just chemicals going on in your mind. You ask, there's an immaterial reality called your mind that chemicals interact with, but that mind is you thinking about a particular, uh, a particular issue and asking a question about it. You're not just a brain. You're a brain with a mind. And that's why you're moral, morally responsible and I'm morally responsible. If we're just moist robots, none of us are morally responsible for anything. Good questions. Let's talk later, okay? Don't go away. Thank you, Sammy. Yes, ma'am, what's your name? Hey, Sammy, b b before I forget, if I give you a book, will you read it? I cannot tell a lie. So. You won't read it? I might not. Okay. It's here if you change your mind. <laughs>